Greetings and welcome from the Fellowship of Friendly Floss. Chief Dennis Tooth McScarbers has been waiting for you guys and excited to share his journey with you. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me and honey, I joined a cult. Today we're going to continue growing the Fellowship of Friendly Floss here with our Chief Dennis Tooth McScrubbers. Uh, you know, he had to give you that greeting here before we got going. A couple things we're going to be doing today. We're going to be building ourselves an infirmary uh, to help out our dentist with their injuries. And we're also going to be building the discombobulation chamber and the hypno chamber. If we have time, we're also going to do some heat reduction missions. As you can see down there in our lower left corner, our heat is getting a little high. We're at 172 out of, I believe, 500 is the highest. A thousand. Eh, I guess we're not as high as I thought we would be. But anyways, let's get going here. We'll go ahead and read these messages we got from um, our chief, Dennis. Let's go ahead and start with the heat reduction missions. You now have access to heat reduction missions. You know I like to live life on the edge, but sometimes things get just a too spicy, even for me. We can go out into the community and complete missions to reduce the heat on our organization and try to calm the press, and more importantly, the cops. I agree with that, my friend Tooth McScrubbers. Let's go ahead and read about the module rooms. Module rooms contain special activities for followers. Each module has its own progress bar and will provide a reward upon completion. You can view a follower's progress for each module under the level tab inside the followers menu. So this is in reference to the um, to the hypno chamber, I believe. If a follower completes it, but we're, before we recruit them to become a dentist. Uh, they get an extra trait. And then the infirmary, you can now build the infirmary. We are one step closer to becoming entirely independent. These healthcare professionals are a bunch of scam artists anyways. An x-ray machine, what a joke. When a dentist becomes injured, you can either send them to the hospital or let them remain at the compound and rest in a state of art hospital bed without having to pay expensive rates. Okay, so those are the three things we're gonna go ahead and build here. Uh, as you can see, I did let a little time pass and I've built up Quite a bit of cash reserve to ensure we're able to build these rooms appropriately. So let's go over here and we're going to build ourselves a nice um, infirmary. So let's go foundation and let's just square it out here. Like, uh, I don't want it right on the fence. Let's go right there. Perfect. I don't know why that didn't build. Let's go ahead and build that in as well. And we will delete the wall out and let's go ahead and delete this wall out as well. Um, since this is the end of the hallway, um, I guess we'll keep it square like that. Yeah, so let's do one, two, and then drag that this way, and drag that that way. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and plop a door into the infirmary. Right there, beautiful. And then rooms, and then let's go, oh perfect, right there. Infirmary, 12 by 6. Build that there. All right. Um, so we need to have infirmary beds, drips, medical monitors, medical cabinets, a doctor's desk, and eventually an infirmary medical book. So let's go objects here and we'll select infirmary. Uh, there it is, infirmary, perfect. So let's go ahead and start by putting in the doctor's desk and we'll have them, um, let's put them right here so they can face out. And we'll go ahead and drop in some beds. We need, I guess we can have multiple beds. So let's go ahead and do a bed because then we can do drip and monitor and then drip bed. And then we'll put our cabinet there and then let's put two beds here to, and there we go. So we got four beds for our people to use and we'll do drips on each side like that and then medical monitors each side like this. And then we'll put our medical cabinet. Um, I guess let's put them over on this wall. We'll put two there. All right, so there's a beautiful infirmary for us to use. And let's go ahead and move over to our next building. I'm thinking we put the hypno chamber here and maybe the discombobulation chamber down here. So let's go back to the build, grab ourselves some foundation and put it like that. And then let's plop ourselves a door in right there. And then we're gonna go to rooms. And then I need to find the, I don't wanna touch the discombobulation. Oops, I just did, okay, hypno chamber, seven by seven, perfect. So here's our hypno chamber. And then we're gonna go objects. 
And then let's go ahead and put our floor tile in before we forget. Make sure, are we using the right one? Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna put our floor tile there. Yeah, those are all the same floor tile. And then let's go ahead and select the discombobulation, or excuse me, not the discombobulation, the hypno chamber. So we need the hypno control panel, and then we need the hypno disc. Okay, so we'll put that there, and then we'll put that there. And let's go ahead and spruce this up a little bit. It's kind of boring in there, so let's go to, uh, we don't want floor, we want foliage. We'll put, man, I'm just selecting all the wrong categories. Let's go ahead and go to decor. And we'll put a coffee table in with some nice chairs. Put that there, put that there. And then how about a filing cabinet, a nice wood filing cabinet. Do we got enough lighting in here? We do. And then maybe a potted flower there. Let's put some bookcases along this wall there. And then let's get ourselves a nice big wood table. We'll drop that there. And of course a tall mirror. And on the table, yeah, we'll put a lamp down here. Let's put a lava lamp. And then do I have anything else we can put on there? Not yet. Let's see what we've got in ornaments. We haven't found any ornaments yet, so we won't be able to put any there. A uh, rug, of course we want a nice rug. And um, let's just tuck that right, right there. Perfect. And then let's go back to decor. And we can put down I guess let's put down a plant. Let's put down the other plant right there. All right, there we go. So it's got a pretty high prestige room. So that is our hypno chamber. And now let's go and look at what we need for the discombobulation chamber. Here it is, um, 10 by 10. So it wants a fairly large room. So let's go ahead and grab our foundation and we're gonna build off like this. Um, 10 by 10. That's it, huh? That seems kind of small. Let's just go ahead and extend it all the way to the back wall here. And then let's make it a 15 by, or let's do 16 by 16. Does that seem reasonable? All right, so that can go there. And then we'll do a door right there. And then rooms. This is going to be our discombobulation chamber. Select that. Make that nice and big. Perfect. And then we're going to go objects. And then let's go ahead and do a floor. Get our paving tile there. And then let's go ahead and build the discombobulation chamber. Ooh, what do we got here? Some interesting uh, spinny disc of, of death. And then we'll put one there. And then let's put that one there. So then we need the control panel there. And then we need the discombobulator lights. Ah, like some flashing lights. Okay, let's put these on the back wall. And we're gonna put one for each person. Ooh, that's not, I don't like that placement. Let's go ahead and move object. We're gonna move these up. Let's put them there, there, and there. And then let's take a peek at the prestige. Prestige is kind of low. Let's go ahead and put some objects in here just to buff that up a little bit. Um, so we'll put a picture of Tooth McScrubbers in here because, you know, we have to. And then let's put a picture of, what else can we put in here? Uh, yeah, of course, our symbol. We'll put our symbol in here as well. Put that there. And then let's see. Let's get ourselves. Oops, something just happened. Someone just leveled up. Um, what am I doing? Uh, let's go ahead and select um, some decor. We'll put a table in the back and maybe some lamps. Yeah, let's put a table here. And we're going to put a lamp on each side of it. And eventually we'll add to that. And there we go. Let's check our lighting. Perfect lighting. So we got our discombobulation chamber built. We've got our hypno chamber built. And we got the infirmary built. There we go. The Fellowship of Friendly Floss is growing in size and becoming better every day. Looks like we completed our research for divine inspiration. And I, I went ahead and unlocked an extra card slot. So there should now be three here. So let's see. We can have Chief Death Tooth McScrubbers unlock the contract room. Followers might sign a contract in this room generating three times as much money and well, of course we're gonna sign that. Um, once contract mature, the file will be claimed. They will never fully. Um, oops, we can close out our sermon. So we could do that. We could do spread darkness mission or we could unlock the hood. 
Well, obviously, I want to go ahead and unlock the contract room, but I don't think we'll get to that this episode. Let's just go ahead and unlock the hood and give everyone a cool hat they can wear. And let's see. Let's go ahead and check out missions. Here we go. Heat reduction mission. I want to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and assign someone to that. Uh, of course, Bella, 100%. Yes, go reduce our heat there, Bella. I appreciate that. And away she goes. So there we go. Fellowship of Friendly Floss is growing and expanding. So if you want to come and join it, don't forget to subscribe to the Tooth and Scrubs Gaming Channel so you get all this great content on time and delivered to you in an orderly fashion. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and comment on down below on uh, what you've uh, enjoyed about Honey, I Joined a Cult so far. And um, there should have been my 100th video extravaganza that was released a couple days ago. So feel free to, or yesterday probably, when I'm probably going to post the extravaganza today, which is the day I'm recording this, and then this will come out the next day so you guys get good content. That extravaganza video is just me talking. I know you guys don't want to listen to that, but it made me feel good about myself to, to release that video. Anyways, back to Honey, I joined a cult while you guys are here. So let's see. It looks like it's nighttime. Everyone's taking a nap. Bella's out there reducing our heat. Let's go ahead and check in on our kitchen and see if we need to order anything. We do need to order some more burger ingredients. So let's go ahead and drop the $1,000 and get that. We got 100 gruel already made and 16 burgers, so we'll be able to stay on top of that. Our research is almost done. The mission just finished up, so we'll bring good Miss Bella home and we'll reduce our heat by 34. Nice, we'll take that. So let's see, we can do some object acquisition. Um, ooh, at the Army base. Okay. Uh, who do we want to send? Amy, maybe? 98% chance. Amy, go get us that object from the Army base. Don't get captured, please. We don't need to bail you out of jail. All right, so Amy's going to go do that. Looks like uh, Chief Dennis Tooth McScrubbers is working on those hoods for us. we got a broken toilet over here, but that's okay. We'll get that squared away. There you go, Bob. Fix that for us. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so research just finished on the recreation room upgrade two. So let's go ahead and see what our next research will be here. We could get the auto experimenter, faith cap, circular saw, kitchen freezer. Oh, dentist cap. Yeah, let's go ahead and increase the number of dentists we have. Um, and then we're going to go ahead. Oop, that broke. That'll need to be fixed. Um, let's go ahead and improve the recreation room. Looks like we got a boom box we can put in there. Uh, replenish is the fun of a dentist. Any entertainment objects needed to complete a recreation room. Okay, so let's go ahead and we can plop that. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate. Oh, we only get two there. Um, looks like they can overlap. We might need to expand our recreation room here in the future. It's getting a little tight. So let's just go ahead and do that now. We're going to go to build, not rooms here. Foundation, and let's just extend this back. Oh, I don't know, 10, 10 units. Perfect. All right, and then rooms. And then let's go to, where's the rec room at? Recreation room, perfect. Let's extend that back like that. All right, let's do a little reorganization. And let's just go to rec room here. Where is it at? Rec room, rec room, recreation room, perfect. All right, so the boom box. Let's go ahead and spin some of this stuff. Let's go move object. And we'll rotate this chair this way, put our table there, put that table there, perfect. And we'll do the same thing. Rotate, 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 perfect. Now let's go ahead and put some slot machines. We'll put two slot machines on the wall here, like that. And then let's go ahead and move these chairs there so they have somewhere to to sit while they're playing the slots. Oops, I spun around that. And then a pinball machine. We don't have pinball machines. Let's plop ourselves some pinball machines down there. And then we'll also go ahead and move the Rubik's Cube up to there. So we'll need some chairs for that Rubik's Cube. All right, we got dominoes, we got cards. Boom box we can add in. Let's just go ahead and put our boom box here. Yeah, we can put our boom box there. And then I think that's all the upgrades we've got. So let's go ahead and select this, and let's just go to uh, decor, and we'll go ahead and put a comfy chair back there for the Rubik's Cube. All right, so that room got a little bit bigger, and hopefully one, oh, we, let's bring back, um, who'd we send? 
A disco ball. Oh, perfect for the recreation room. Let's definitely get that disco ball in there. So let's go back to objects. Ooh, Amy's enjoying the pinball machine already. So objects, and then we're gonna go to decor, and let's get ourselves a nice wooden table to plop in here. And we'll put that next to that, and we'll put, uh, where's the standing lamps? I want standing lamps, there we go. Let's do that and that. And then let's check the overall lighting. Uh, it's not great. Let's just add a little bit more overall lighting. And that looks good there. All right, so now we want to put down the disco ball. So ornaments, we can close out of that screen. Thank you. All right, beautiful disco ball. Plop that there. Look at that prestige go up. And let's also put a plant in. Uh, do we want the potted flowers or potted plant? Let's go with flowers and we'll put that next to the disco ball. There we go, a nice recreation room for our dentist to enjoy. I'm glad we were able to, to get that upgrade for them. All right, it's nighttime. Looks like everyone's taking a, a snooze here. Let's check out our missions. We could do another heat reduction, object acquisition, or PR campaigns. Let's go ahead and send out another heat reduction because we're at 189. And let's see how Charlotte does. 0% chance. Okay, so Charlotte isn't going. Luke, what are you looking like? 64% chance, that's not great either. Um, and Amy really doesn't have the skills needed to, to be sent. Um, all right, Luke, looks like you're, let's go, actually, let's go ahead and start a covert op, see if we can improve that. And then we can send Luke on that mission for the heat reduction. I don't think anyone's really used the discombobulation chamber or the uh, hypno chamber, but once we get the number of dentists increased, we should be able to get more of them in the compound and start working on that. Speaking of getting more dentists in the compound, let's go ahead and just start expanding this room here. And I wanna do this, and then we'll do that. And I don't know why that did that, so let's just go ahead and expand that. So let's go delete wall and delete that out. Perfect, all right, so that is ready to go. Let's put another set of double doors in for them to use. We'll put it at the end of the hallway. There we go. All right, and then let's go to rooms and bedroom. Now let's just expand it to this entire space. Oh, look at that. Big old beautiful bedroom for them. And we'll go to objects here. And let's just go ahead and move some of these beds around. So we'll pause. Eh, we can have it running. Let's do, um, what do we want to do? Maybe two on, three on each. So if we do that, that, that and then we'll do three over here boom boom so that was one two and three okay great so let's just go ahead and drop another bed in there make it nice and round for that stack actually let's do yeah there's one two and let's just do two more like that okay i'm happy with that and then they need some storage, so bedroom, and let's just put some more storage lockers over here. So we need three more, two, three, four, perfect, or excuse me, three. All right, and Prestige is doing pretty good. We really don't have any other objects we can add. As we progress, we can add some more over here, but we got that space built out so we can get some more dentists. Someone was injured, don't care about that. Let's see how we're doing on our research so we can get more dentist into the fellowship of friendly floss uh so we're gonna get four more dentists when that finishes researching so we will wait for that and i will see you guys in a minute all right research has finished and our dentist cap has gone up by four so let's go ahead and get ourselves four new followers here so as you can see they got some positive traits some unknown traits and potentially a negative trait so let's just, um, let's just grab four people here. Alex, you are going to be recruited here. So let's go ahead and offer you, there we go. Deciding, deciding, and Alex has joined our Fellowship of Friendly Floss. Fantastic, Alex. And uh, let's see here, let's go look at your skills. Um, negative two intelligent, but otherwise zeros across the board. So we're gonna go ahead and assign you to be um, I think let's get you as the spin master in the discombobulation room and yep There's no negatives there for you and let's see what our hypno chamber needs intelligence and Social so let's go ahead and recruit another follower here 
Amanda Voigt, you are next up on deck. Let's go ahead and recruit you. And let's see, did she deny? She might have denied. Let's try that again. Deciding. All right, there she goes. She is now in the group here. Let's check out her. She's zeros across the board. So we are going to send you to become the, I think the indoctrinator? Yes, the indoctrinator. All right, Amanda, you are assigned there. So, oh, wait. What do we got going here? Look at those guys. Spin, spin, spin. Jeez Louise. I guess that's what the discompobulator does to you. All right, so Amanda's going to work that room. Let's go ahead and we'll get Andrew Brody here, and we're going to recruit him. He's deciding. Let's see what he says. He will join our group, and he's got, ooh, negative five improv. Oof, okay. Um, we'll make you a doctor. Very important doctor at that. Let's just see what the negatives are here. Uh, butchery and empathy. So that should be all of our rooms assigned, and we can go ahead and recruit ourselves one more dentist here. And let's go with, let's go at the bottom of the list. Let's go Zoe Kappa. Zoe, would you like to join? Oh, she's at home. We can't recruit her here. Oh, darn. Um, let's check out the missions. and Yeah, heat reduction mission. We will definitely take that. Uh, Amy and... Oh, did Amy's? All right, Amy's. Go reduce our heat, please, at the... Uh, is this the courthouse? Looks like some sort of courthouse. So they'll take off and do that for us. And uh, yeah, let's see, what are we researching now? I forgot even what I clicked. I think I clicked like the circular saw. Yeah, so we're researching the circular saw. We're also researching the infernal pipe, which is an upgrade to the uh, infernal heat room down here. Uh, I think that increases the prestige. Ooh, and we'll get the infernal coals eventually. Yeah, we got the sermon going on, fantastic. Well, let's skip through the night and then we'll recruit ourselves one more follower, excuse me, one more dentist. All right, so we got our followers back at the Fellowship of Friendly Floss here. I wanted to check out Jaden Lewis and just show you guys what the Hypno Chamber does. So he's about to go in and we've got unknown traits here. So he's gonna go and I believe the Hypno Chamber will add uh, follower completing this might receive a random trait, so he will get added a random trait. So we see the four here, and he's going to come in, he's going to sit down, they're going to hypnotize him or do whatever they need to do, and he's going to go through the hypno disc, hypnotized, hypnotized, ooh, it's taking a little longer than I expected, needs to go up to 100 here, he's already at 20, so he might not complete that today. The, um, what's this next room over here? The monolith room followers that have completed this room will automatically advance the level upon recruitment. Ah, and then the revelation pool, I believe, shows us all their hidden traits. So it shows us what traits they have. And he's at 60 in the hypno chamber, 70. So he might finish today, I guess. If he finishes, we'll recruit him into the Fellowship of Friendly Foss. But I guess Amanda Voigt says it's time for lunch, uh, so he will not finish Hypno, or not the Hypno Chamber, excuse me, the Discombobulation Chamber was going strong there. You guys saw those guys spinning around. How are we doing on everything else? Uh, let's go ahead and send out this. Let's go get a, a random object, and we'll send Bob, and how about Luke? 100% chance those guys can go get us a random object. Fantastic, fantastic indeed. All right, someone's angry and leaving. Who's that? Yeah, they're gone. That doesn't bother me, no, none. All right, let's see if Amy goes back. I would really like, um, was it Lewis? Was that his name? really like to finish Lewis in the hypno chamber here. Uh, it, but it's not going to be Lewis. It's going to be Lucy. Yeah, close. All right, so we might not see that finish, but you guys get the idea. Ooh, let's go back to discombobulation chamber. Round and round they go. I'm surprised there's no, like, hurl or anything on the floor. Um, but let's go ahead and recruit one last dentist here. Uh, who are we going to do? Zoe? Zoe Kappa? Zoe Kappa, would you like to join the Fellowship of Friendly Floss? Oh, she's in the Discombobulation Chamber, and she joined! Thank you for joining the Fellowship of Friendly Floss. We do appreciate it. I believe we have every position assigned at this point, so we'll leave her as a floater for now. Oop, and Divine Inspiration is done. We will take that. Um, and let's go ahead and start researching that contract room, because I'd like to play around with that in the next episode. So let's go objects here, and we're going to go to that infernal room. Or is it under darkness? It is not under darkness. Okay, we need to go to the, uh, where is it at? Infernal room. 
Here we go, infernal heat room. All right, so the infernal pipe. And we're gonna tuck that. Ooh, it's got a skull on it. Um, let's put that right here. So that should improve, yep, and improve the prestige. And I think we get some more money and influence gained from that and experience. So that's pretty cool there. Oop, this mission finished, so we'll bring these guys back as well. And they got a chest. Yeah, that's kind of boring, but we'll take it. Beggars can't be choosers. Well, thank you so much for coming out and joining me in Honey, I Joined a Call, and obviously joining the Fellowship of the Friendly Floss. If you would like to join, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. If you'd like to please our god Asclepius, don't forget to hit that like button as well. Thank you so much for coming out and joining me, and we'll see you in the next Honey, I Joined a Cult video.